Hello, my name is Richard Brock. Um, I still work at Collaborate Online. Um, and uh, today we are going to be talking about the very exciting topic that is form filling APIs. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Um, OK, APIs, you guys know this stuff, don't you? Uh, OK. It's the way that different applications talk to each other. So when you get up this morning and you look at your phone and you say, what's the weather in Berlin? Your phone doesn't know. It talks to the weather office in Berlin. And the and, uh, yeah, OK, APIs, good. We know how they work. That's all right. Um, what is a form filling API? OK, so we think that APIs are quite fun and sexy. So we want to have them in our documents. Um, for a long time, Collaborate Online, NextCloud, Office has had this uh, content control feature. Uh, it's really useful, especially in forms. So for example, you can see here the date picker. It makes sure that your dates are always formatted uh, correctly. So you have the 1st of August 2024, not August the 1st, 2024. Sorry if you're American. Um, and anyway, so it's a good way to standardize things. You can have sort of check boxes and whatever. Um, so that's cool. Um, but really what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is accessible by different things and different applications. So we've made this uh, API that will first scan through your documents and identify uh, these parts of the documents. So it will find out the uh, form controls. Uh, where are these content controls? and then expose them to something else. Uh, this is using a, a REST API. So you can work with this in sort of whatever programming language you like. And it works with all the CRUD uh, features. So create, read, update, d, delete. Mm, that's the one. There we go. Um, and uh, so what does that mean? So it means you can go both ways. So through this API, you can uh, change things in your document. Um, so if you have a uh, content control that you would like to uh, edit, you can change it. Um, or you can create it. Or you can talk both ways. So if you have lots of documents and you would like to collate the information, you can pull out all of the information from your documents and collate them centrally. But equally, if you have a central thing and you want to create lots of documents, you can do that. This is quite abstract. So what do we mean in reality? I'll let Philippe take a picture. No. Um, well, if you have a, a database and you want to connect the database to your documents and make lots of stuff, you can do that. So what would that mean? Let's say you are a parts manufacturer and you make lots and lots of screws and bolts and your screws are all different lengths and different widths and different thread pitches. And you have this huge database of all your different parts and you would like to produce data sheets uh, for all of your parts. Well, you can do that. You can, with a little bit of scripting, you can connect your massive database uh, to produce these uh, beautiful uh, data sheets. Um, you could add in your pricing details, and you could then use that to automatically uh, create invoices so that when someone buys, you know, a thousand screws of this type and a thousand screws of that type, yeah? So that's quite fun. So that's one sort of use case. Um, what about connecting people and documents better? Collate uh, timesheet centrally. So your people are, are working on lots of uh, projects, and they're working on project A, project B, project C, and you want to get all the information from project B and send it to your client. So you collect all these timesheets, and you can then make a beautiful document that explains how people have been using their work. Uh, you can then even use this to create a chart, for example, that would outline the way that uh, the time has been uh, used. Uh, uh, logistics, your uh, local port authority, and you have lots of ships coming and going, and they need to fill out the form saying where they are coming from, when they are expecting to arrive, when they are expecting to leave. Well, you could ask them to sort of print off the document and fill it in with a blue pen or a black ball, or you could just do it uh, using this API, and so they will have a pop-up box and just uh, fill it in. So. It's quite difficult to describe this feature, really. There is uh, a huge amount of um, possible use cases. But the idea is we are opening up documents um, to make them accessible to all sorts of uh, things. Um, and so yeah, you could make a PDF if you want a sort of a final, uneditable thing. But also, you could use this to create something like a docx, ODT, whatever it is. And so you can autofill all of the fields. So maybe you work in HR or something legal, and you need to fill in the dates. You need to fill in uh, people's names. But there are still some things you would like to change. Well, that's fine. You can do this. It's not uneditable. Uh, so 
uh, yeah, do uh, all sorts of um, powerful stuff. Uh, what about integrators? Well, we saw this yesterday. Um, so Nextcloud have already done some really wonderful work with this. Um, so when you open a template, um, it will, instead of opening the document, it will just present you with uh, this uh, pop-up uh, box with all the fields. It has found where these content controls are and then just uh, fills it in for you. So you type in those things and then it goes straight into the document. If that's all you need, you can print, send, email. If you want to edit, you can keep going. Um, so yeah, what could you do? I don't know. Have a, a think about it. There's um, a lot going on.